Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Nerdmodon, and I'm going to be doing the next episode of Battlefield News, a video series where I'll be talking about changes and or events within a particular Battlefield title. So without further ado, let's get started. So of course, starting things off, there was the R52 server update on September 14th of 2015, and there's just a few things that were changed in this, but they do have a lasting impact on the Battlefield. So of course, one of the most notable changes within the server update was the fix for the dusting issue, which was definitely plaguing the battlefield, especially when it comes down to really any of the vehicles, but this is most prominent in the jets and air combat by itself, considering that those vehicles are sufficiently faster than ground vehicles. As a result of the dusting issue, DICE went in there and made a fix for a build issue, resulting in frame history time of 0.125 in place of the initial 1.0. All this really means is that dusting should be significantly less common than it previously was, and as a result, this should net some consistency, especially in air combat and even combat on the ground. As well as a fix for a hardcore preset switching from custom to unknown, I think this refers to hardcore just having some issues in the past. It seems like when the summer patch came out, it was a little bit more difficult to locate hardcore servers, even though they existed. Now, of course, transferring over to the community test environment, there actually has been quite a bit of work, especially when it comes down to some recent updates over the last couple of days. It looks like they've been definitely trying to push some alpha builds and trying to get some general information and improvements, especially when it comes down to the netcode and overall the community map. Now, of course, with that said, unfortunately, there is quite a bit of information and I won't be going through everything, especially when it comes down to this overall video. There's anything ranging from netcode related issues and fixes to community map updates all the way to vehicles and infantry combat. So, of course, there's definitely a lot of information there, and over the last couple of days, it looks like DICE has been fairly busy when it comes down to the community test environment and trying to really test a lot, especially when it comes down to improvements for Battlefield 4. But anyway, guys, when it really comes down to it, definitely a lot of great articles, definitely to look into if you're somebody that's continuing to play Battlefield 4 or you do participate in the community test environment, definitely more alterations and changes than normal. So, of course, definitely be paying attention to that and providing feedback as you see fit. As a result of this, I will be leaving all the articles that I discussed in the video in the description, so that way you guys can check them out at your own discretion. But until the next episode, guys, this has been NMO, and I'm going to be signing out, guys. Peace.